Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Tuesday in the 19th week after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson is from the Revelation to John, the seventh chapter, beginning at the ninth verse. After this, I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne shall shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will bring them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Here ends the lesson. In yesterday's reflection, Mother Elizabeth explained the problem of a literal translation of the 144,000 and the problem that causes should anyone wonder if God's heavenly invitation is limited to such a number. Today's verses immediately follow explaining that John further saw a multitude of people from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne, which is a reference to God the Father and in front of the Lamb, which is a reference to Jesus Christ as the Son of God. One of the 24 elders then asked John, who are the ones who stood in white robes? Not being able to answer the question, the elder explained that those were the multitude who had come out of the great tribulation. The blood and pain they had shed through persecution had now been redeemed and was glistening white and pure from the blood of the Lamb. And those who suffered greatly on earth were and would be redeemed and brought safely into the eternal realms in heaven. Instead of standing before the powers and principalities of this creation, they now were blessed to reside in the presence of God's throne, privileged to serve Him day and night in His holy and eternal temple. God's promise is brought to light and those who suffered so terribly in this life will never suffer again. Such temporal things as hunger, thirst, or scorching heat would never be again. Under the loving care of the Lamb, the Good Shepherd, the redeemed will drink from springs of living water as all their tears and suffering will be wiped away. Chapter 7 portrays a scene in heaven that precedes the second coming of Christ to the earth something we want to be prepared to face with each and every new day. Let us pray. Almighty God, who inspired your servant Luke the physician to set forth in the gospel the love and healing power of your Son, graciously continue in your church this love and power to heal, to the praise and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. And join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday and 8 and 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings.